Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to try and make a cover. As you can see, that um, dried really nicely. So the um, waterproofing that I've put on it, I did. I did um, three layers in total three coatings and waited 10 minutes and then mopped it down with a wet cloth or damp cloth each time so I'm hoping that will be um, hoping that will work uh, just to help keep it a little bit drier and I don't know if you're aware but on this on this um, on this hide it's made of Full of metal, flat metal bars um, that that flex when you when you pack it down. And I actually have um, I actually have this well, kind of toilet tent that I turn into a hide, but it already has sewn in metal loops. So I'm going to do some measurements and I'm hoping that I can either use just the bottom or just the top of one of these sides and maybe rivet it onto one of these loops so it'll flap down over, I don't know, I'm going to, going to have some measurements take some measurements and, um, and have a play around with that today okay let's let's get started eh right well I've taken my measurements and I'm literally going to start on this line here and I'm going to try and keep it on the bottom side of the stitching so it gives me an actual pre-sewn edge and, uh, and then I can take it back from there if it needs it I tried a few cutters including the hacksaw and big bulk cutters and some metal cutters but nothing was doing it so I reverted to the angle grinder. I know it looks harsh but I promise you no material was harmed in the making of this cruelty free video. just separating the two halves and the loop. Let me just show you. There you go, you can see I'm just separating the stitches here all the way around. So the general plan is something along those lines. You see, I'm going to make it a bit, make it a bit smaller. And I'm hoping. Yeah, we need to cut that down a bit. I'm hoping 
that with a sewn tab there. That it can end up something along those lines. And then I just need to make it the same curve as as this. Now with the um, that end, it was too. The angle was right, but I needed more sag of material. So I'm going to try the same again with the bottom end. Obviously, PPE. Pieces. and I'm hoping that we can get the angle we want. Well I now have plenty of these strips and I have plenty of material so let's try and get the curve that I'm after. This is when my GoPro decided it didn't actually want to record any audio for a little bit for me. Um, obviously I'd worked it too hard or it just got bored with listening to my rubbish but I was just um, softening down the tip so I can re-thread it back into the material right well it's in let's go and see how it fits no matter what I tried with this I, I just didn't I just couldn't find a way that I was happy with it so I just decided to start from scratch with another small plan. I went down the route of making a smaller thinner strip with a bit of wire at the front hoping that it would just be enough to cover over the uh, unzipped opening. Here I'm just thumbing like a crease line so that when I get it on the sewing machine I find it easier to keep it folded over. Or whilst you're sewing your brain's still ticking and thinking is this is this going to work out how I wanted it but that's the whole fun of experimenting there's a, a dozen different ways and I've got two or three ideas in my head of how this would work and it's just going to be a question of finding the one that actually works for me And as my wife says here, I'm in and out like a fiddler's elbow, trying to find out if it's going to work or not. Well, this was the first attempt. I mean, the ideas come out right. I just don't think I've allowed enough. By the time I've done like a double, a double edge, and for the threading of the bar, I don't think. Um, I don't think it's quite deep enough. It needs to be put it on the tripod. Right, the idea was right. Um, I think it just needed to be 
longer along around this way and it kind of it, it virtually level with it but I'd like I'd like it just a little bit further so let's try again well this goes to show that it doesn't always quite work out how you expect it I wasn't even sure I was going to put this video up actually, but I just wanted to show this as a, not a win, but it's not a fail. The principle's right, I just need to, I just need to think a bit more, because my original plan was to, was to have this bar a look longer and bolt onto the existing ones so it would just be an extension of that loop but this one being external I think it's going to rust at least the other ones are underneath the cover and I also don't want to because they're underneath I don't want to um, cut any holes in the material so Luckily I've got plenty of bar, plenty of material, plenty of black cotton. Um, I'm going to rethink it. Maybe come up with a different idea altogether. It's a little bit of a video of what not to do. When I've figured it out I should do another video. So, so thanks for watching. Bye for now. I love these kind of projects where they tax my brain, what's left of it anyway. I enjoy mucking around in the workshop, especially when it comes to photography. There's been a few things that I have made in the past um, and a couple of things I've got in the pipeline for making for the YouTube channel. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen then please give it a thumbs up. If you don't subscribe and you'd like to that would be great because that really helps the channel. And if you want to know when my next video is up, just click on the notification tab. If you want to know more about me, you can find me on my website at haydenthomasphotography.co.uk and you'll also find me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching.